Are you one of those people? No, not one of those people. Are you one of the millions of people that went on a diet, I'm gonna use the word, that went on a diet and, uh, you know, you thought it was all about willpower, you read all the books, you did all the rules, and the whole time you were on it, you knew you weren't staying on it, no, really. You knew that there was going to be a time it was going to end, and that created all the anxiety about being on the diet, so it was never a good time. Well, I've got some good news for you today. Or, John? Or, are you an athlete who goes to the gym or an athlete on a sports team who all of a sudden got pain out of nowhere, and you're now out of commission? Maybe you're told to take time off, and it's now extended time off, and you're re-injuring that injury? And you're just not healing. Maybe. Is that you or someone you know? Or one day they say put ice on it and then they say to heat it up and then you take this pill and this pill and this pill. Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Lozier. I'm a certified emotion code practitioner and this is my buddy. I'm John Inverarity, also certified in emotion code and certified in the body code. Yeah. And uh, John and I are very delighted to be um, the practitioners of the Emotion Code by the talented and lovely Dr. Bradley Nelson. And uh, John and I have been doing this uh, Facebook Live, this kind of a special edition of Hangout with Michael. Hey, shout out to everybody that's on my fan page. And maybe you've joined us on the Hangout with Michael show on Friday. John's with us many shows and we cover great topics. And this show got so popular, even though we only did it once a month, John said, let's do it once a week. We've been doing it on Tuesdays. Today is the weekend edition, it's Saturday. Uh, I trust that um, you're up nice and early and you're curious about the emotion code. And if you're not, stay curious because today, John and I are each gonna do a live emotion code session with two people. Here's what I'm looking for. Uh, well, first let me tell you about a project that I'm working on, John, and then I'm gonna tell who I'm looking for. So I want you to, in the comments below, say, hey, that's me. And uh, you don't need to join us live today. John and you will chat live, and John will say, um, Michael, we're talking with this person, and they want an emotion code session. You'll see it all demoed. Well, even before we go to the – John, we've got a lot to do in an hour. <laughs> even before we go – even before we do the live demo, we're going to talk about the seven keys to the emotion code process. Here's our purpose today. We want to expose you to the emotion code. Dr. Bradley's done a really great job. We want to spill it over. We're doing everything we can to let people know about this, how it's changed my life. If you've been watching me for the last 196 episodes, you know I lost 37, 38 pounds. And I've been big my whole life until this happened to me, the emotion code seven keys. And that's where, that's why I'm here. I want you to get excited about the emotion code. And John and I want to let you know that we're available. We help people. We've got, we both got clients today that live in other countries that we're going to be using the emotion code process to help them reduce pain. And in my case, I'm working on somebody on their weight reduction plan. So John, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, and then uh, for those of you that might not be new to you, they know who I am, tell us about you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, my name is John Inverarity, and certified in the Emotion Code and the Body Code. So the Body Code is also developed by Dr. Brad, and you can find me at aliveandpeer.com for more information and to book a one-on-one -on -one session. I live in Vancouver, and I work with people all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, so Vancouver, Canada. Uh, today I'm working with someone in Australia, someone in the United States, someone in the UK. Uh, there's really no limit to this work. Yeah. yeah. It's, called, it's called distance healing for some people, right? And distance could be you and I at a coffee shop. That's still a distance. So it could be in person very close or it could be in other countries. So yeah, I'm very, I'm going to do a shout out to everybody here in beautiful Victoria, BC. So John and I are both on the west coast of Canada. Give you a little picture. And uh, so today, John, we're also going to be reading live comments from people. So I'm going to start that off. Then we're going to come back. I'm going to talk about the project that I'm working on and how why I'm looking for someone today to help me. So first, uh, we're going to say hello to Re Rebecca Isabel. Uh, she's saying hello. Good morning, Rebecca. She's been following us on Fridays too, John. And Shira, another uh, fan from Russia. So hello, and Shira. Gwen Lorena from sunny London, UK. We're getting a fresh weather report from UK today, and it's sunny in London. Looking forward to the show. 
Hey, it's also sunny in Bournemouth, UK from Nika. So we've got those people saying hello. We've got a couple of people checking that. Through. Some people are just getting on now. We have our mute and Jeanette and uh, oh, our friend Kelly Carson, Mike Wimbish, and uh, we've got friends. So if you're watching live, stay tuned today because it's going on. What is it? What's, what's it doing today, John? It's going on. on. Okay. We are doing two live emotion code sessions. Now, uh, so as you know, some of you have been with me on my fan page for many years. I've been very big my whole life. I've tried everything. I'm not going to do the crybaby story. You've all, all you fat people know what I'm talking about, right? So, uh, and I include myself in that category. So I reduced my body weight by 37 pounds. I'm saying 38, but that's generous. Uh, since probably June, July, August, and all because of the emotion code and body code, all about habit changes and food changes and belief changes, and boy, results really quickly. So people were noticing and asking me, and I, you know, I really liked all the new behavior. And you know, I'm a teacher, and when I go to see a good movie, I want everyone to know about it. So I wanted to enroll more people into this. I wanted to have more people. So I thought I'm, I took what I did, which was a model. You know, I, I worked on beliefs and I worked on this and I worked on this. And I logged it all, and then I put a system together, and now I'm working with people one-on-one -on -one to test the system, because that's my style, and we're getting good results. Uh, and right now, I'm formatting with, what, what I'm going to do first, because I'm putting a program together with 10 people. There's going to be 10 people coming to the call. We're going to do 22 emotion code sessions with each. I'm going to do it with each person over the 10 sessions. That means 10 people will come live with me 10 times, not a lot of Michael Oshay, and you will get your two sessions every time. Now, once you've had your session, you can leave the call, but some people like to hang around. The very first session that we're going to do is all about beliefs. Now, beliefs, in my book, Law of Attraction, a belief is a thought that I think over and over and over again. And when I think anything over and over and over and over again, it becomes a belief. That belief could also have come from our parents' um, vibrations and our parents' trapped emotions as well. So the very first session everybody will get, I will be asking their subconscious mind. Now, their subconscious mind is the one that stores all the information. If they have any of these beliefs, and all of these beliefs will stop you from reducing your body weight. You can eat all the lettuce you want and all the exercise you want. If you have a belief in your subconscious mind saying you're not worthy, you can't have it, whatever the story is, you can't buck that current. I said you can't buck that current and the current's called trapped emotions and I'm going to help you reduce them today. So I'm looking for somebody live today that has been uh, challenged to reduce their body weight, change their body, diet, whatever you're going to call it, it's none of my business. And you're thinking, well, I must have a block. Well, the block's called trapped emotions and welcome to my world, but I have them in front of me. If you're watching live, you let me know if you want to have a session. I need to know your age and I need to know the severity that you might think that stopping you from being successful. And, uh, and then John will tr um, read that for me and we'll do a session. That's what I'm working on. I'm going to be launching this 10 series project soon on this website. And again, I'm taking 10 people. It's going to last 10 sessions, which will be two and a half weeks. And I'm guaranteeing results. You know why I can guarantee results? Because I can guarantee I can remove the trapped emotions that's causing you to keep the weight on and not exercise. Hello, I did it. I'm going to teach you what I did. So, John, uh, that's what I'm looking for today. Who are you working on? What's happening for you? And who are you looking to uh, service today? Go ahead, please. I'm going to check to see who's saying what live out line, online. We'll hear from you. Then we're going to do the seven keys. Go ahead, John. Yeah, I'm looking for some athletes, and that could just be a weekend warrior, someone who goes to the gym just trying to keep fit, that has a chronic, chronic pain or chronic injury or reoccurring injury, reoccurring pain, and you just don't know why. You're trying to heal it. You're doing the physio. You're doing the ice. You're doing the pills. It just won't go away. Maybe you've had it for five years, ten years. I want to talk to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or you wake up the next day and forgot what you did yesterday that caused the swollen ankle. Yeah, swollen ankle, back pain. Yeah, you don't need to have back pain. Oh, it's swollen all right. Swollen, sore. It's swollen with these stuffed inside. Stiff, these stiff neck, stiff back. Emotions. So, John, uh, I'm looking for someone that's having uh, challenges with uh, their eating and their dieting and diet success. You're looking for somebody. Go ahead, say it one more time. 
with chronic pain or unexplained chronic pain, long-term pain. And yeah, I want to work with athletes as well. So if you're out there running around, maybe a jog in the morning, going to the gym once or twice a week, maybe five times a week, I want to work with you. Yeah, and when we say unexplained, you can, you might be able to explain where it came from. We don't mean you're unexplained. We mean the doctor's unexplained. It's like, I don't know what it is. It doesn't show up on an x-ray. You know why? Because it's trapped emotions. Stay tuned and listen to today's show because we're going to help you understand why you're having chronic pain, and why you're having blocks, and it's called trapped emotions. Uh, you know what? We're going to take a peek out here, John. We have Priyachi. She's saying, wow, we haven't even started yet. We haven't even started, and she's saying, wow. Thank you for saying that. Uh, and Shara, we really love your books, Michael, from Russia. A big thank you. Uh, we have our friend Leslie from or uh, Oregon. And, uh, yeah, so we've got some people watching live. We've got people leaving comments. John, our very first job here is to explain the beautiful work and the talented Dr. Bradley Nelson. By the way, we were honored to have him on two of my Hangout with Michael shows, and we were just mesmerized the whole time. So if you want to see two, uh, I wouldn't call them interviews. They were conversations. It was, it was very Oprah style. It was nice. Uh, you can go to hangoutwithmichael.com on the top of the Hangout tab. You will see the two interviews, and it's in my vibration that he's going to be coming back. So I've got some things cooking in the back burner there, too. Right. So, John, you and I together, we have put, uh, John came to Victoria, and we did a live seminar. We had these keys on big flip charts like this, and it was all across the front of the room, and we blew people away. We, did, we talked about the seven keys. We had six people come up to the room in 45 minutes, and we released and reduced and eliminated chronic pain from six people live on Facebook. No, you know what? No kidding. No kidding. So Jared, they're still talking about it. What's that? <laughs> they're still talking about they're it. They're still talking about it. It's still on Facebook Live, too, on my page. Okay, John, let's start the process. Now, first, I think we should define the word trapped emotion and then we'll do the key. So um, Dr. Bradley uses the word trapped emotion. It's a reason they're trapped. You know, if they were good emotions, we wouldn't use the word trapped. We'd call, we'd call them comforted emotions. They're trapped and they're ugly. Can you tell us what where trapped emotion got its name? Yeah, trapped emotion is a little ball of energy about the size of your fist. And there's there's 60 trapped emotions and just on the chart behind you there. Yeah. And yeah, so those are all different energies, different experiences, different thoughts, feelings. Maybe one day you're ticked off and that little ball of energy, that trapped emotion, it gets trapped and stuck, lodged. Uh, I'll just read somewhere. Them. I'll read some. They're, they're negative in nature. So there's failure, helplessness, hopelessness. So when we had an experience in our life and we had those feelings, what happened when we had the feeling? Yeah, they and get stuck. Feeling. They're still with us. Part of that feeling gets stuck with us. But what if we say, oh, no, I got rid of that. I'm, yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm done with that. What's the truth about that? Uh, probably not. not. Probably so not. Not if you have chronic pain. That's right. <laughs> Every negative emotion, but what I understand from Dr. Bradley Nelson, I'm going to confirm with that because I'm sure I read it or heard it. Every negative emotion that we experience, a part of it stays behind. So if you had 10 of these experiences when you hurt your arm or when something bad or some kind of shock you had, those, ex a neg those a negative emotions got trapped, part of them. And then they get big and puffy and swollen. And then we take pills to get rid of the big and puffy and swollen. Well, you can kiss your pills goodbye today because we're going to introduce you to the emotion code. I'm very confident because I've done this so many times and I know the power of it. Okay, so it's all about these trapped emotions. Just to summarize, these are negative experiences, negative emotions. Even if you think you resolved them and did all the meditating in the world, part of them were still behind, and they are in the way, and they are stored in your subconscious mind. John, tell us the, about the subconscious mind and about the conscious mind, and then we're going to begin the seven keys. Go ahead, please. The subconscious un uh, conscious mind. Difference. Yeah, the subconscious is a supercomputer and it's the most powerful supercomputer in existence anywhere in the universe right now. And our, our subconscious, it knows everything about us, everything we've done, every person we've met, everything we've eaten, tasted, everything, every memory. So, and it, it, 
and it keeps track of this and we communicate with the subconscious. That's how we find these trapped emotions. We can actually communicate with the subconscious. The conscious mind is, is not, it's smart, smart for, you know, uh, higher functioning things like, uh, you know, stop, reading. You know, I'm scratching my, that's yeah. I'm consciously talking to you. I'm consciously drinking a cup of coffee. That's stuff that I know that I'm doing. That, that, yeah. Yeah. But it's a very minute part of the brain. That's right. <laughs> okay. Two key things, trapped emotions and uh, our subconscious mind. Everything's stored there. Everything. Everything you read, smelled, touched, tasted, everything. You can ask it any question in the world as long as it has a yes or no answer. You can't say, what was my favorite color when I was seven years old? No, it doesn't answer colors. It answers yes and no. So if you could go through all the colors, your subconscious mind would remember that. Okay, John. Um, so for those of you that have joined us, for those of you that uh, might be listening to this on uh, a future podcast, John and I are going to be using what's called accelerated learning te techniques. We're going to accelerate the speed at which you learn in today's information, and we're going to be make sure that we're teaching it to you in multiple learning styles, visually, auditorily. You might catch us repeat ourselves once in a while. You might catch us repeating ourselves once in a while, and when we do that, it's going to help integrate the information because we're running out of time and we're going to do it fast. John, yeah. on speed dial, uh, key number one, Tell us what you know on- We just talked about it. It's the emotion code chart. Yes. So this is the chart. We're behind us. Boy, we're going to find them fast. Next thing, key number two. Rapid fire, muscle testing. What does that mean? What does it look like? Muscle testing, it's a form of uh, kinesiology, applied kinesiology, biofeedback. This is what it looks like. So yeah. you're asking your subconscious. That's a yes, yes or no question. So my name is John, yes. My name is Bob, no. That's what it looks like. Yes and no. Yeah, you can do that at home. It takes training, but it's a way to get the yes or no answers from your subconscious mind. You make an agreement, say, you show me a yes and you show me a no, and I'll ask you all the questions. It's called muscle testing. Now, uh, that's muscle testing on our own subconscious mind, but sometimes, well, not sometimes, in our work, we work with other people. So we need to talk to their subconscious mind and via a proxy. So we connect with them and act as a proxy. So yeah. we're testing on their behalf, on your behalf. Okay, yeah. very good. Hey, a little shout out to Misty Anderson who joined us live. She actually won my new book yesterday, Your Life's Purpose. Uh, we gave a book away. It's coming out on June 6th. Hang hello to Misty Anderson. She is saying that uh, she can't seem to lose weight and keep it off. So Misty Anderson, uh, if you could, um, uh, in that same chat or somewhere on their chat, uh, let me know what your age is. It's part of the process. It's helpful if I know that. The severity of the problem, and I'm going to choose you to work on the limiting beliefs. John, back to you. So we talked about. Misty is the winning a lot. Misty's valves are open this weekend. Misty, Val, I think Misty's been having me in her vibrational bubble because she's all over me the last couple of days. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's just recap. We've got the chart. We're going to use muscle testing to ask your subconscious mind about the chart. We're going to get the proxy, which is the permission. And now we want to find out. I just asked Misty, say it when you see it. What is it? Severity. On a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being most severe. You can't get over it. Uh, extreme, extreme pain. Never yeah. felt anything worse. And zero, it's gone. So that's what we zero, would like to call the severity before and after so we can acknowledge our results and so you can hear how powerful it was. Now, before any of this can happen, Misty needs to give permission. So verbal, written, yes. Yeah. Or they can even schedule it. Say, can you work on my neck at three o'clock today? I'm, yeah. I'm giving you permission. That yeah. happens because I'm working Absolutely. with people that are at a different time. There's only like two hours that we're both awake. And I say, you know what? I can do it right now for you. Oh, I'm going to bed. That's okay. Just give me permission in an hour or so. Yeah. So I'm not your permission. The time. Yep. Here's what happens. John and I, the practitioner, uh, we're working on somebody. We are finding the trapped emotion. Boom! We just found it. It's, I know. I woke you all up. Did I wake you up, Misty? So <laughs> then when we find the negative trapped emotion, just like that, that tr negative trapped emotion leaves the client. And boy, we don't want to absorb it, John. So we need to get out our magnet. We need magnet to get out is, magnet. And why it's very strong. Magnets are pure energy. Just like us, we're pure energy. Our thoughts are energy. 
yeah. and the magnet what it does is that erases and it also amplifies our intention to clear the, the trapped emotion so it's kind of yeah. like taking a magnet to a credit card you wipe it off there it's deleted that's like what we're doing with the magnet flipping it over our head and to release that basically deleting and releasing that and do i need to have the xl 1000 magnet like you have in your hands uh no refrigerator magnet works oh. That's why I'm not, I have one of those too. They're just, I got them at a tourist shop. If you think, oh, we have to have those, I mailed to the John as a gift. So it looks like all practitioners have one. We're probably the only two in the world. Here's another little stone I bought at a gift shop, you know, for yeah. a, it's a magnet. Yes, the, there's a magnet. The chart has a magnet. Fancy. Some people say you can use your fingertips, but honestly, I like the weight of something in my hand because it helps with, helps it with the intention. This. Now, John, this is the magnet. It dilutes this trapped emotion so we don't absorb it, right? And the magnet's stronger than the trapped emotion. It looks a little silly and it works. Hey, I do it in restaurants. You can just ask the restaurant across the street. I do it so much in restaurants and every time, and the servers get to know me after a while and waitresses and I guess they're servers, yeah. Uh, waitresses and waiters uh, get uh, wait on me and they see all this going on. But you know what they really see is when we're done. And they always see the person sitting across me is the biggest smile, or they're doing this. Oh my God, I haven't done this forever. And they forget they're in a restaurant, right? Well, I've had two servers at that restaurant hire me because they saw so many results. So that's very fun. So if you see me, I bet you I will have a magnet in my pocket because I'm not scared to use it. Uh, okay, uh, la, la, la. John, can you check in to see? Oh, we have one more key to do, but I want to uh, see if Misty has updated us. And she, she has. Uh, she has. Okay, great. So we're going to give the last key right now. And the key is uh, I'm going to summarize really, really quick. We're going to become your subconscious and actually your subconscious mind through a proxy with your permission. We're going to ask your subconscious mind with yes or no questions using muscle testing. Which one of these trapped emotions are causing all that puffiness in the side of your neck, which is called inflammation sometimes. Uh, but in order for us to connect, we need to fuel ourselves. There's nothing weird about it. You know what? We all have it in our house. You all have the capability of learning how to do this. But for now, let us help you. And in order for us to help you, we need... Water. You need to be water. hydrated. Yeah. So here's my water, and John, uh, tell us about the, okay, so I'll drink my water, and you can explain the water. Okay, so the water, yeah, it keeps us hydrated and just helps the energy and the electrical circuits uh, communicate and keep intact, helps with the muscle testing, the clearing, even helps after a session as well, just to, you know, keep everything moving smoothly. Okay. So, uh, John, tell, oh, okay, I'm saying Misty there. Why don't you uh, uh, go out in the live room, see who's saying what else, read some other comments, and I'm going to read up what Misty has to say, and I'm going to prepare for her session. So, who is saying what live right now, John? Absolutely. Okay, yeah, a few questions here. Prachi, how do I do that? How do you ask questions to the subconscious? Oh, just explain that, and we're about to show you live here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Eileen Kinch has chronic pain, lower body, need help to Shogun. Okay, so maybe if we have time, we can work on Eileen. Yeah, well, let's make, let's make time. Uh, out of all these limited questions, my goal is to get them done in three minutes. So why don't you queue up your friend there and collect her information? I, I really want people, and then I'll chat with her back and forth. Who, what was her name again? Eileen. Eileen, so I will look for Eileen to chat with me out on the Facebook when I'm done with my session. That's our goal today. I want to show you the emotion code does so many things. One of them, it helps remove these trapped emotions that form the belief that you have to stay your body size. Your, your conscious mind wants something different. Your subconscious, remember when you were three years old? No, you don't. But your subconscious mind does. And I'm going to pull the experiences causing you to steer yourself in that direction. That's something mental. John's going to show you something physical. Last time we did this live, John, let's do a quick update. Martine is her name. Uh, she had chronic back, lower back pain of an eight. We're live on Facebook. My, she's at my sister's house. My sister is chatting with John, with me, online during the live show. And John got her back from an eight to a three in like, I don't know, 12 minutes. I followed up. Yeah. Yeah. I fixed it yeah. in another three minutes. 
she's yeah. been great. She goes, my husband's a little skeptical. And I said, oh, does he have pain? Yeah, but he's a little skeptical. And I said, where's his pain? She told me, I said, ask him if I can do it. And he said, I heard in the background, yeah. Well, I shut him up. He was spinning his head no more. to Soleil when I was done with them. So, so let's get started. Coffee also counts as water, by the way, in my head. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> in my head. Okay. Hey, welcome, everybody. Thanks for having fun with John and I. We're pretty chilled out and relaxed. Actually, this is a high vibe zone today here. Um, yeah. Before I get started, yesterday, John, we had a really awesome, we had 1.7 thousand people. Would you say 1.7 thousand? Probably not. 1,700? No, no, no. Yeah, it was 1,700 people. That's 1.7K uh, people watched yesterday's show live. We talked about my new upcoming book, Fulfillment Needs, uh, which has a list of 33, uh, my Your Life's Purpose, which has a list of 33 fulfillment needs. And yesterday's show, we were telling people how they can get the list before the book is released. You can check that out at hangoutwithmichael.com. The right hand top, go to Hangouts. So, John. I'm going to do a little chart here because Misty is saying that her pain or her uh, blockage is 8 out of 10. So here's a little scale I like to do. Yep. So 0 to 10, Misty is sitting on an 8. Now, her her conscious mind saying an 8, but I'm going to check with the real boss, okay? I'm going to check with her subconscious mind to find out what the real blockage is with her belief system. So. If you're watching live, well, you are watching live or later, or you just tuned in, yeah, we're drinking water during the show, okay? Because we need to. So <clears throat> I'm just checking that I had enough water, and I'm, I just like to do a couple little things. And then so right here, I'm muscle testing. See how it's saying yes? Can you see how my fingers are closed? So am I, am I Michael? So right now, I'm just checking in. Uh, vibrationally with Misty. She's in Alaska. She's a friend, Misty. So I, my subconscious, well, we know each other through here. So we're going to get connected here with Misty. There. So now I'm connected. So right now, am I Misty? Watch my fingers. Am I Michael? Am I Michael, John, Betty, Michael, John, Misty? Right here. I couldn't push my finger through there if I tried. Am I Misty? Am I Blisty? No. <laughs> okay. Hey, Misty, shout out to you. So uh, now, so right now I'm just connecting, am I Michael? No. Am I Misty? Yes. So I'm going to ask my subconscious mind about some of my beliefs. And the first belief that I'd like to ask my subconscious mind is, is it safe for me to lose weight? And it's saying no. Okay, what is the severity of the unsafeness that I believe? Is it a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6? Is it under 10? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. It's a 2. Is it 2? So it's a 2. Is it a three out of 10? Is it a one out of 10? It's a two out of 10. So that's not severe, but it's still a belief. It's still some of these, Misty. Everybody get what I'm doing here? The severity is only a two, but there's some, there's some block, roadblocks in the way. So now comes time. As your proxy, Misty, I'm going to ask your subconscious mind, what are the trapped emotions behind me? Is Okay, am I, I'm going to check. Am I still Misty? I am. And I'm just checking the severity of the belief that it's not safe, it's, uh, that it's not safe for me to lose weight. Is it two? They're behind me. It's the first one. Even I ought to be even two, four, six. It's in box six. Is it? It's unworthy. So I have the trapped emotion of unworthy. I don't know where that comes from. Do I need to know? No. So now I've taken on that. I have a magnet. So I'm going to dilute that trapped emotion of unworthy. I know it gets crazy. Wait till you see John. I'm move crowded thing. Woo! Scared of you. Okay. I'm going to check it. Did I get rid of unworthy? Are there any more trapped emotions in the way that are causing me to hold the belief? They are. Even AI be even two, four, six, five, shame, shock, and worthy, worthless. Very last one here. Box number six. It's worthless. Do I need to know more? No. I'm going to release that. Okay, so next one, column A, column B. Oh, look at that. Is it column A, column B? It's none. Am I done? Yes. Oh, now let's check my work. On a scale of 1 to 10, what was the severity of my belief that it's safe for me to lose weight? And I got a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So it was a 2. Not severe, but there was still some blockage. Now I'm going to say, what's the severity of that belief now? Is it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0? 
Now watch this. I'm going to ask the question again. Is it safe for me to lose weight? John, what's the answer? Uh, it's a yes. Yeah, it's safe. It wasn't before. Uh, you know what? It was a slight change, but those two roadblocks could make a huge difference. It did for me, 37 pound difference. Or am I saying 38 now? I can't remember what I'm saying now. But anyway, uh, here's the next belief question. Now remember, people that are going to be taking this 10 week program, this or 10 session program, we're, everyone's going to have this session. Imagine, imagine starting any diet, I mean, somebody have been doing it for your whole lives like me, and not cleaning up these road paths, these roadblocks about your beliefs. Misty, here's the next question. Is it okay for me to lose weight? Oh, it is, okay. Let, let's begin again. Is it safe for me to lose weight? Yes. Is it okay for me to lose weight? Yes. Is there something blocking me from losing weight? No. Is it okay for me to have the body I desire? No. So it's not okay for me. Well, you know what? Good luck trying to get a new body when your belief system says it's not okay. I'll read it again. Is it okay for me to have the body I desire? So now I'm gonna say, what is the severity of this belief? Is it a is it a 10 under 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2? It's a 2. Okay, it's low, but there's still enough roadblocks in the way. I'm gonna find out what they are. Is it a even a odd be even two, four, six? Pride chain shock. It's shock. So you had an event in your life where you had shock, and that shock's in the way to hold that belief. Do I need to know anything else? I'm gonna release that trapped emotion of shock. Did I release it? Is there more? No, really? Okay, I'm going to check the question again. Is it safe for me to have the, is it, is it okay for me to have the body I desire? Look at that. It's a yes. On a scale of one to 10, what was the severity? It was a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And now it's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. One trapped emotion was enough to have you on a severity of two. Woo-hoo to that. Okay, we've got time for more. Here's the next question. Uh, do I deserve to have, oh, okay, I'm not even, you know, when I read the question, it was already slipping before I come to back to tell you, watch this. Do I deserve to have the body? Good luck trying to have the body you desire if you have a blocked emotion. Misty, loving me, huh, Misty? Okay, uh, do, do I have the, do I deserve to have it? No, what's the severity of this belief? Is it under 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5, is it a 5? Ooh, it's a halfway. Okay, can I remove all the trapped emotions that are holding me, having the belief that I don't deserve to have the body I desire? I can. Is it a, even a odd, even two, four, six? Is it pride? Okay, there's hurt pride there. Now, I know the list well, but it's right here on the bottom, right? I'm going to show you nice and close. <laughs> yeah, I'm not guessing. I just got a good memory. And I also have a little chart in front of me. So, uh, so am I still missing it after that little sidebar session I am. Uh, so I'm still asking questions about my belief that I deserve to have the body I desire and my blockage is a five out of ten and the first one was pride is there pride do I need to know more so now I found it now I'm di di deleting it deleting it I'm diluting it which is deleting it so I'm both right you're making up words it's the next one a, even a odd be even two four six pride chain shock unworthy worthless so there's another one worthless I'm releasing trapped emotion of worthless so that's two that causing that belief to hold there. Is the next one even or not? Be even two, four, six, pride, shame, shock, pride, shame, shock. Do I need to know more? So there's the third one in there. A even a odd, be even be odd. I'm done. Did I resolve the trapped emotions that were holding me in the belief that I don't deserve to hold the body as a five? Yes, but I better check my work. Before I did this session, what was my belief that I don't deserve to have the body I desire? What was it a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5? And now 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, 1. Oh, I was about to show off and thought I got it all. I'll fix that, Miss Misty. Watch this. Hey, even a I'd be even 2, 4, 6, pride, shame, shock, unworthy. Unworthy. Is it mine? Is it a trapped emotion? Do I need to know more? I'm releasing the trapped emotion of unworthy. Now I'm going to test my work again. On a scale of 1 to 10, what's the severity of my belief that I don't deserve to have the body I desire? It's a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. It's a, it's a firm 0. Do I need to do anything more? Am I done with Misty? Yes. Okay. I'm just disconnecting here from Misty. Ooh, that was fun. Okay. Uh, Misty, let us know if you experience any sensations. Sometimes people get... You know, they feel like a little wash or a little tingle or something warm or, I don't know, you describe your own sensation. 
And uh, we definitely, uh, Misty is a regular on the Hangout with Michael Show, John. So we're going to hear from her in the future. And I bet you she's going to give us lots of success stories. Now, we're going to get right on to Eileen. What can you tell us about Eileen? Did you write the things down for Eileen? Uh, uh, I haven't heard, I haven't from, heard from, Eileen, from Eileen, no. 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 Eileen, Eileen, if you're still if watching, watching. Uh, please uh, let us know if we have your permission, if I have your permission to connect with you. Mm -hmm and uh, where the pain is on a scale of one to 10, 10 being most severe. Yeah, I see her a comment there. I'm just scanning through like, hey, if you're saying uh, hello, if you're watching, say hello. Let us uh, know, uh, oh, my friend Chris Cross is saying hello. Uh, uh, Sylvie Bellini, good afternoon. I bet you it's about five o'clock. Hello, Michael and John. What a treat to have you live. Trying to declutter here, so I have to keep me company. I have you to keep me company. By the way, the weather is variable here. Just saying. L Rose, I have 30 pounds to release, 32. I feel it's emotional related. Frustrating because I have cleared so much already, but weight sticking around. I would love to do emotion code work and release trapped emotions with you, Michael. Well, you're in luck. You can. You can go to hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash emotion code. It should be in my notes there. And I can help. I can help with confidence. Yes. Uh, Nika, I've had pain in my chest for nearly two years now, and I always thought there was an emotion triggered. Nika, if you're watching, uh, I'd love for you to give John permission. Uh, yeah, give John permission uh, and pain in your chest for nearly two years. We want to help you. This is in your chest. So you need to <laughs> say yes to John. We'd like to know the severity. One being zero, I don't feel it. Ten being I can hardly move. Just put a number down, your age, and... Um, Eileen said yes. Oh, Eileen said yes. We have we found a winner. Go ahead, Eileen. Eileen, so yes. Summarize the work you're going to do with Eileen. I am going to uh, just look ahead here. We got Dana, our friend Dana Smithers, who's with us on Fridays. Uh, she said, nice work, John and Michael. Uh, Misty saying it's the first time she's had a session done on herself. She's drinking her water. I want to be like John, sort of like Rebecca. It is possible for everybody because I looked at John, looked up to John, and I said, I want to have that too. Okay, there we go. Eileen's attend. She's saying yes. So, John, why don't you get connected to Eileen? I saw you drank your water already. And uh, we'll go from yeah, there. Yeah, I need to know where the pain is. That would be ideal. Um, it said lower body, but knee, foot. Leg. The test for it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what does low body mean? <laughs> or is it, maybe it's the entire low body. <clears throat> well, I'm well, with Eileen now. So, so Eileen said she met you, Michael, in Dublin. Good memory. Okay. Now yeah, we're getting all of our uh, legs, knees. So okay, that's the entire low body. That's what I hear. Both legs, both knees. 10 out of 10. I got some work to do. Okay. Uh, John, what, uh, like I did, why don't you walk us through the first few? And if you don't mind, I'm going to stay connected with our friends live while you're doing that. We only have 20 minutes. I okay. know you will feel some relief. We might not complete it all. but So Eileen, um, every now and then I want you to just type in what the number is, you know, and just use your gut feeling. Right now you're saying it's a 10 for severity. John will ask for an update. Just put now it's an eight or now it's a 10. Just let us know. John, let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I'm connected. Okay. Oh, I've got a good connection. I'm muscle testing. Uh, my <laughs> hands are down in my lap here. So good connection, Eileen and Proxy. Good. And the severity of this pain, lower body pain, legs, knees, is it 11 out of 10 or higher? No, it's a 10. Okay, and when it's a 10 out of 10, that's quite significant. So we could ask limiting beliefs as this as well. So do you want to heal, Eileen? Are you able to heal? I'm getting no on both of those. Do you deserve to heal? No. So we got three right there. So is there something standing in the way, preventing, blocking you from healing that's contributing to this pain? So we're doing like a three or four in one here. Yeah. Is it trapped emotion? Yeah. What percentage of this is trapped emotions? We got 65%. So there could be some body code 
in that, but we'll get, we'll clear some trapped emotions today. First trapped emotions, the most significant trapped emotion contributing to this pain, preventing you from healing, column A, odd row, uh, no, so even, so A4, is it guilt, trapped emotion guilt, do we need to know the age, no, do, can we clear it, yeah, first one's guilt, won't do an age, clear that now, clear guilt, another trapped emotion, we can clear is the most significant Imbalance, A, odd, three, A, three. Rejection, we need to know more. No, clear that now. Good, magnet, clear rejection. Another trapped emotion, Eileen, yeah, A, B, A, odd, even, A, one. Forlorn, forlorn, we need to know more, no. I have this work here. Every time I come up with forlorn, I have to define it for people because I didn't know what it meant. I remember the first time I got it, so I didn't know what forlorn was. It means extreme sadness to me. So I don't know why yeah, I, yeah. I don't believe that I have to define that every time. Do I have a belief that I have to define that every time? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, anger. Next one's anger. Clear that. It's cleared. Severity nine. Okay, I got a nine. All right. Yeah, this is uh, another trapped emotion. Most significant imbalance causing this pain, contributing to this pain, preventing you from healing, blocking you from healing. Most significant. A odd. Five. Fear. We're getting some good ones here. We need to know more. Clear that. Forlorn, fear, anger, guilt. Clear that now. Clear the fear. That fear is released. Yeah, another trapped emotion. Column A, column B, A odd, even, A1. Oh, it looks like Pam Smith just joined. Dr. Pam. Hi, Pam. Hey, Dr. Pam. <laughs> another trapped emotion. Betrayal. Heavy. Uh, your betrayal. While you're you're carrying on supporting your friend there, uh, we're going to say hello to Leslie Marshall. She's saying this is amazing to watch. I can't wait to get the book. Um, uh, and, and reminder, Leslie, we uh, John and I are doing this once a week. We're trying the Saturday slot today. So you know, the more you watch it, the more you understand it. The more you understand it, uh, then the more it'll be easier for you to do it on your own. Jolene Chantrell is saying, "How do we contact you to find out your costs?" Well. I can tell you. I can tell you right now. Or yeah, you can go to liveimpure.com for John. You can go to mine. I do three sessions. I do a 30-minute session, a one-hour session, and then some people book three uh, sessions in one package, and we can get a lot done in 30 minutes. When I do that 10-part program, that means some you'll be joining the class 10 times. You'll each get two significant trapped emo uh, emotion code sessions that cost is going to be two hundred dollars times two that means it's going to run over uh, two payments of two hundred dollars so that's a four hundred dollar investment for life-changing removal of all the trapped emotions that have been stopping you forever yeah nice yeah how you doing there john yeah i cleared sadness i cleared i can't keep track uh <laughs> despair there's another one there discouragement there's a lot coming out here. Yeah, A, B, A odd, even, three, A three. So let's ask Eileen for a new number. She got a sense or a feeling or an idea. On a scale of one to 10, Eileen, what is the severity of the energy and your pain around your knees, that whole area? Are you feeling anything different? Let us know, we're watching live here. I got <laughs> an inherited emotion. Oh, inherited, what, what does that mean? What does that mean? What's inherited? That? Uh -oh. Okay, so inherited, that means you're born with this emotion, it's sadness. So something your mom or dad or went through, or their mom or dad or their mom or dad, they're going to continue on and on and on if you go back a lot of generations. So something, a pattern or a feeling or a thought that an ancestor went through, uh, you took it on, you're born with it. It's been with you your whole life, upon conception. And it uh, came down through your mom. Do we need to know more? No. Maybe grandma? Yeah. Three, four, five. Four generations, so your mum, 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 mum goes a little ways back. Sadness, so clear that now. 
clear this from you. We're doing extra. We're doing about 10 swipes for the inherited ones because they are stronger, more powerful, more dense. Clear that sadness from you and all with this emotion. Okay, that's cleared. Still a 10. All right. Is there a psychic trauma? Okay, so psychic trauma is when two or more emotions are felt at the same time, fused together and form one ball of energy. Is that the priority? Yeah, first emotion, A, B, A odd, A three, uh, discouragement. Second emotion, A odd, even, A four, discouragement and bitterness. Let's do an age for this one before 25, 30, 40. 30, 35, 35, 40, 39. Okay, we need to know more. No, so let's clear that. Clear that. Psychic trauma. Okay, that's cleared. Yeah, so she says it makes sense. <clears throat> yeah. Still a lot of pain though. So, something in the body code, there is. I'm not gonna get into the body code at the moment, but um, maybe another time. Another trapped emotion, B, even, six, uh, worthless, pretty common, worthless. Kate, we need to know more. No, clear, worthless. That's clear. Another trapped emotion, preventing or healing, causing this pain. B, odd, even, two, helplessness, need to know more. No, clear, helplessness. Another trapped emotion. Yeah. Be here all day. <laughs> yeah, even three. Oh, ten's pretty severe, right? When you get a 10, there's a lot of. Uh, it's not too often it's a 10. Uh, rejection. Clear rejection. A odd, a even. Four. Uh, resentment. Clear resentment. Cleared. Subconscious says it's a 10, a 9, still at a 9. <laughs> What's the most significant? We want to get this to a 0. What can we clear? Trapped emotion. A, B, A, odd. A, 1. Betrayal. Another betrayal. Clear betrayal. I'm going to do a couple of shout outs to people. We have a friend, uh, Sasavan from India. Uh, I was chatting with him on Instagram last night. He was on my Instagram account. I posted something. We were live. And I went on Google to find out where he lives and how beautiful it is in Calcutta, uh, Calcutta, India. I apologize for the mispronunciation there. So, hey, welcome from India. Nice to have you with us. And, uh, you know, Leslie is saying, you know, she can't wait to get the book. So that's, uh, and Gwen Lorena, she's fascinated by this. Uh, we we would love to have uh, more severe results with John's client right now, but you know severity of ten to go from a ten to nine. Ideally, uh, our friend will be feeling some relief there. Ten percent better it would be yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. well, we can spend about four more minutes on that, and then uh, we'll four minutes is a lot. I know it's like four minutes. That's like running seven blocks. <laughs> I'm off in the room right now. Seeing who's saying what live. We've had a lot of people watching live. Upon, a lot of people like uh, uh, bitterness. It's cleared. Yeah. Every time I refresh, Facebook resorts the thing, so I'm seeing uh, repeats. It's cleared. Resentment, another resentment, another trapped emotion. The guilt. It's raining in Alaska. Is it? <laughs> yeah, Misty's giving us an update. Thank you, Misty. Cleared. Good. Another trapped emotion. Oh, yeah. We also might want to add that Eileen's in Ireland and John's in Canada on the far west coast. So we probably couldn't be further apart unless we were in China. So. <laughs> Yeah. We're talking, John's doing some significant work here, you know, half a world away, removing trapped emotions from Eileen. So uh, carry on, John. Hatred. It's cleared. Yeah. 
And so if you're watching live, you might be wondering, I wonder if this would help with this. Well, what's your this? What's something that's out of balance in your life that's not working for you that you might think is emotion related? Is it a relationship? Is it money blocks? Business blocks? Is it habits? Is it little ticks that you have? Is it your mother's tick that you have? <laughs> or are you just like your dad? Or is your whole family like that? That's my sorrow, yeah. Okay. Just let me know about what's something that you think you could do ask me a question can hey can emotion can code help with ringing in the ears john remember the time the woman said well you know if i don't if it's not going to work i'm not going to pay for it and i said well you know what i'll do a quickie little session if i fix the left ear you'll pay for both she said good enough so she was in australia or new zealand and she had ringing in her ears and it was trapped emotions and i one ear was perfect and she said oh good let's do the other one i said and your credit card number, please. <laughs> so so here it is. Awesome. I'm not paying if it doesn't work. And I said, well, I'll guarantee my work. If it doesn't work, you don't have to pay. I, I know it's trapped emotion related because I've done two other people with ringing in the ears. How's that for confidence? A couple questions. Can it improve your grades through LOA relationships? Eileen says so much clear, so much too clear. Yeah, there's a lot to clear. Just cleared inherited frustration from your father's father. Well, from you, but it came from your father's father. Lost track. We're probably at like 20 emotions now. Uh, so Priyach is asking, is it possible to improve your grades through LOA? You just asked that question. Now, if I was going to work with her, I'd want to find out, does she have any beliefs that are stopping her from believing that she can have good grades? So let's work on the belief about that. And then I'd find, are there any trapped emotions through past experiences that she had that her subconscious mind said, you can't get a good grade. Remember you were in kindergarten? Remember that little incident? And now it's blocking success. So the answer to that is yes. Uh, so Savannah is asking about relationships. Absolutely. Uh, there, uh, one of the Dr. Bradley Nelson interviews that we did was all about relationships. It was all about the heart wall. That means there was a bunch of these wrapped around our heart, and it's called a heart wall. So before you can send and receive love, you need to peel away these negative trapped emotions. It's called the heart wall. It's very specific for relationships. Go to hangoutwithmichael.com. On the top right where it says hangouts, scroll down and look for the one with Dr. Bradley Nelson on the heart wall. And, uh, and if you want to have a heart wall session, you can have one with me. Hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash emotion code. You can see my packages there, and you can see um, you can even book your your schedule online, compare our calendars, and so on. If you want to have an emotion code session, a body code session with John, he's alive and pure.com, and we both offer the service of emotion code, and John offers the services of the body code. So, John, I'm going to do one more refresh. I'm going to yep. acknowledge our time here and. Um, Sorry, that's me listening to us, sir. <laughs> me watching, me watching, me. I'm just refreshing my screen here. John, why don't you ask uh, Eileen's subconscious mind what it thinks the severity was and is now, and uh, hopefully it'll match what her conscious mind is saying. Right, yeah, I got one more here, inherited anger. She says she feels a shift. And remember, every time we talked about trapped emotions, John said it earlier, there's, they're the size of baseballs, right? That's the round one. Yep. Yeah. 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 Baseball or an orange. 30 of them. Like, boy, these are like traffic cones that are stopping the flow of good energy and for you to have things. So, yeah. The orange What's your orange cone? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, severity scale of 1 to 10 here, Eileen. Uh, is it 11? I got an 8. Okay, 10 to an 8. Okay. There's, yeah, there's some heavy stuff there. That's what I'm picking up on. I'm yawning. My eyes are watering. <laughs> you know what's going to happen to her tonight? She's going to sleep really well. Yeah, you drink extra water stuff. today. Oh, she said a 7. Okay. We got okay. a 7. Got a 7. Good stuff. Yeah, we're so used to getting it to a 0, but she came in at a 10, so I'd, I'd be satisfied right now, but I'd also want to have more work done on that and to witness how we could do that in separate countries. 
Hey, John, thanks very much for hanging out with us today. Like always, after today's show, we like to go out and check what was happening here. My hunch is that you know somebody that might be struggling with body pain, you know, sports injury, even beliefs about whether you can win or complete the sport and sport injuries and the topic I'm talking about today, changing your body. Um, you can uh, copy the URL to my page or share it on your page. Just let other people know about it. This is new cutting edge. Well, it's new to me and to a lot of people, but wait till this spills out to the whole world. Wait till there's clinics where, you know, you, you just call people for, for pain removal. You call people to get rid of anxiety and stress or wait till you can do it on your own. You can do it on your own. It takes it's practice. Happening. But for now, I want to do it for you and with you uh, so you can help speed up the process. And like me, after I got healed, you know, after limping for five years, then I really wanted to learn it because I was so convinced. Uh, John, what would you like to close with today, please? Yeah, I'd just call? like to thank Eileen for being a volunteer and watching today and Misty as well. Thanks for uh, joining in, watching live and everyone watching live. Thanks for watching and for your support. And if you could like and share this to, to help show others, that uh, would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Good stuff. Hey, our friend Jewel is saying, Jewel's from beautiful Victoria. She's saying it's a great show. Um, good. I am going to go check all your comments after today's live show. I know John's working with a very lucky client next. So we are saying goodbye here. The Hangout with Michael Show. Be sure to uh, share the post today. Stay on my fan page and you'll get notified every Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon Eastern. And John and I will be doing impromptu once a week. We haven't picked a time yet, but we're finding our sweet spot. So let's say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody.